you hear that? Vroom, vroom. It's a joy to do all this in the mud. I might have to butter him up. All right, butter. I said butter. Now I wish I had some butter and saltines. What are you looking for? Uh, looking at sperm. I know. I know what you're looking at. <laughs> yeah. Is that recording sound? Yeah, it is. I'm back. Are you glad I'm back? I'm glad you're back. <laughs> My feed and geek gears, I missed her. Mm. While I was gone, his birthday present came in the mail. He got a new hat. Mm. We're gonna Thanks see. to my wife. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, YouTubers, <laughs> for helping me buy him a hat. Love y'all. <laughs> love y'all. He said he loves y'all. All right. Merry Christmas. There you go. Ah, guess what? It rained over, over an inch the last 24 hours. Back to the mud and the blood. Well, hopefully no blood. But a little bit of mud. Welcome home. <laughs> Morning, babies. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of water. Where is Panda? Ooh. Feeling good. It's actually not too cold this morning. There she is. Twister. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. What a joy. Oh, y'all. soup. <laughs> Safe to say that this is this is potentially boot sucking stage here. Boot sucking mud stage. Little spinach. Got a little spinach out here this morning. Alright Zuki, you got this. Oh, oh. At least that wasn't on my face yet. prep day tomorrow we're gonna be having a bull test on the farm and if you don't know what a bull test is I'm gonna tell you when the time comes <laughs> but for now we gotta get stuff done we gotta we gotta go play in the mud right All right okay What a mess, what a mighty fine mess. Per usual, when you actually want them to be where they usually are at this time of day, they're somewhere else. <laughs> so. Snug gives two bugs in a rug. Or a 44-40. See what I did there? I gotta get one more. Okay, yeah. So we're having to move troughs out of this lot. We call this the funnel lot 
it funnels from the bigger lot out there into the corral. And so these calves think they think they're going to be fed. They're not. You're not leaving. Sorry. Um, but we need to be able to use this lot to get bulls in and out. So we're moving troughs out and we're going to move them into another lot. And it's a joy to do. It's a joy to do all this in the mud. Can you hear the bulls? They're calling and hopefully coming. I'm tucking myself back over here in the corral so they don't see me so they'll hopefully come in. <laughs> it's like trying to herd cats. Okay, well maybe since he's coming, that means he got them all in the funnel lot. Maybe. Cross out here to feed these girls out of. Hey, Panda. Hey, baby. We moved you. Did you get moved? She's such a sweet girl. Seriously. All right, the boys are all in here now. Well, I guess we can call them men. Or we could just call them bulls because that's what they are. Should be four or five. I just can't see them. Sorry, I can't look at you. I'm starting to have flashbacks from last year. Last year was a record-breaking year for North Carolina. We had over 60 inches of rain, and we obviously have not had that this year, but <laughs> but the winter is starting off wet and muddy, and um, it's just not fun. It's not fun feeding cows in mud every day, and after a while, it starts to get to you mentally. It did last year. So we're just hoping this is not this is not going to be the norm. <sighs> Going for a backo ride. Getting some cow crack, cow chow, to help move some cows. Off, so we can go get the trailer so we can haul a bull over here. I did get all that undone. Proud for that. Goat time. What do you call it? What? I call it a goat. What do you call it? The goat, goat. So they call them goats. A lot of people want to buy this goat. Would you sell it? Can't afford to replace it. <laughs> Can't afford to replace it. Yeah. I'm pretty partial to it myself, except for long trips. It's not something you want to take a long trip in. You drove it, where'd you drive it? To Memphis, Wyoming, and then back. You drove it to- Four to six hours to take that, because we get to feel something. No sleep. Thermopolis, Wyoming, to get some horses. Stopped just to get the horses. No, well, we stayed three days out there. Right? Talking about going out there. We didn't get oh, oh, to drive out there, you no, never stopped. We stayed out there. We, we'd stop, fill up fuel, get something to eat. We didn't go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Tag teaming. good. There you heard it. It's not for sale. Okay. I just walked my way down here to find the bull. who's usually curious as a cat, but he wasn't coming. And he's up here in the very corner of the lot with his girl, Stella, the milk cow. He's leaving now, Stella. All right, buddy. I really need you to just go. Your feet is down there at the trailer. You're so stinking gentle. Okay, let's go. Let's 
Okay. All right. Let's see how this goes. All righty. There you go. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh. Now we'll see if he loads. Pretty sure he will because he loves some food. <laughs> he loves some feed. Oh, what is that? He's thinking about it. Oh, that's pretty good. Smell it. <laughs> well, my phone died, but he didn't want to come anyway. So, we'll try again. <laughs> Maybe in the morning. The vet is coming supposed to be here at noon and I'm, I'm I promise I'm going to explain what we're doing I'm just going to have to power wash these bibs before it's all said and done morning Bonnie you look so comfortable someone in my seat. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you supposed to be up there? <laughs> no, no, you're not. Well, it's here. It's bull test day. Yep, looking at you, buddy. So once a year, our bulls get tested and if they don't pass, they don't get to stay on the farm. So what is a bull test? A bull test is when we have the vet come out and check the bull's viability for making calves. Catch my drift? So what we do is we serve as a hub for our county and surrounding counties for anyone that wants to come and take advantage of having the vet in one place, which saves everybody money for not having to take their bulls to the vet's office. And he'll come out and he will go through the process of checking the bull semen and people will be coming and going. We don't have a whole lot signed up, but um, we feel this is very important to our operation. Everything, all the animals in our farm have a job to do. Our cow's job is to get pregnant, carry a calf full term, and then raise that calf until weaning. Our bull's job is to get those cows pregnant. And if for whatever reason they aren't able to do that, they don't stay. It's, uh, it's a business decision. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can um, so that some of y'all who don't understand what we're doing can have a better idea of how this works and um, I'll try to keep it clean. <laughs> it is what it is and um, hopefully it'll be educational. So now we're going to finish feeding some cows silage before the vet gets here. He's usually early though, so hopefully we can get done before he gets here and We'll see how this goes. We've got a lovely muddy mess to deal with, <laughs> but sun shining and it's not freezing. So we'll take it. Okay, just ran home to get water 
and NAMS. If you're new here, NAMS. NAMS are packs of crackers. Uh, through research, I've learned that NAMS is short for Nabisco, and it's just something they've been called around here for a long time. So, I've never called them crackers. I've called them NAMS, but anyway, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Okay, heading back. The vet should be here within the next 10 minutes. Our vet's name is Pete. He is definitely one of the best cow vets in the area. The best cow vet we have in this area. Um... He's amazing. You know, my husband thinks a lot of you when he names a horse after you. Yes, we have a horse named Pete, named after our vet. So, and if you thought my husband was a man of few words, you haven't met Pete. He's all business, but he does a great job. And hopefully he's not gonna mind if I video a little bit. <laughs> I might have to butter him up. All right, butter, I said butter. Now I wish I had some butter and saltines. Anyway, I digress. All right, let's go do this thing. Getting everything set up. And in true fashion, something always breaks. You got to go out. He tested good. That's good. I got to get there. So what are you looking for? Uh, looking at sperm. I know. I know what you're looking at. <laughs> is that recording sound? Yeah, it is. Yeah, looking for normal shaped sperm or abnormal shape, whatever. And that one. So you look at the shape and then you look for motility. motility. Yeah, I already looked at motility. Was it good? It was good. Was the shape good? 90% good, yep. All right. So the two we got tested were all right. <laughs> good. good. You gotta get turned around. Come on, Curly. They're all, okay, good. All right, three more. This is somebody else's bowls. Y'all are up next. Yeah, we just don't have any problem eating, eating nabs with manure all over us. It's just not a thing here. <laughs> that's a wrap. All the bulls tested and they all tested well, so that's good. Well, that's done. And as we like to say around here, all's well that ends well. Nobody got hurt. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. I think I'm still tired from last week. Oh, it's starting to cloud up. We're going to go feed some hay. I'm going to go pick up the kids from their homeschool co-op. 
we're gonna call it a day. Pete does a very good job. He does a very good job. When it comes time to prank check cows, he is amazing. He can tell you about to the day how pregnant they are, and we know that because several years ago, Lawrence said he he tested him. He wrote it down. He when when Pete told him how many days along uh, the pregnancy was. He wrote it down and then he checked it when the cow calved and he was right on. <laughs> That's talent. But I guess when you do thousands and thousands and thousands a year, you get good. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. We're going to go put out some hay. And that's that. See you next time. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, if you're old here and you haven't subscribed, I sure would like you to hit that button. If you like the video, I sure would like you to hit that button. Everybody have a good day. Farm hard. Live well.